everybody, Meriden Gaming here. We're back in Elite Dangerous to cover a more advanced topic today. We're going to cover the galactic powers and how you can make use of them. Uh, so right now we are in our Type 6 uh, from our uh, secondary account. Uh, just because I haven't done any work with uh, any of the powers with this account yet. And I've been wanting to. So basically what you need is something to... Um, that can haul cargo because that's what you do to gain uh, faction in the galactic powers. So let us take a look. So what the galactic powers are is a basically governments throughout the star systems that you can align yourself with in order to advance their agendas kind of and also help them expand or control their specific star systems. Now this actually affects everyone in the game that plays it because if you help expand to a new area, that actually, at the weekly update on Thursdays, or is it Wednesday night? Anyway, it's it's between Wednesday and Thursday. They um, it will adjust the actual galactic power play map, so like the factions will move and whatnot. So it's really cool if you are kind of if you're into that kind of uh, immersive gameplay. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to go under our four, uh, whatever you call this menu, and we're going to go to Galactic Powers. So you have a few different ones uh, to select from. Uh, we're going to go specifically with uh, Ailing Duval. Uh, but the reason you might want to do this, because you might be thinking, why would I want to, you know, do that? That doesn't sound fun to me. I don't want to, you know, haul cargo to you know, increase these factions area of control or whatever. But if you come in here and look at them, if you go to the pledge tab, which is the second tab, um, the first two really don't matter. What you want to look for is the rating three, which you unlock at 750 merits. Right here, it says unlocks the retribution for uh, Edmund Mann. Uh, after four weeks aligned with this power, this says small beam laser, which causes enhanced heat damage. Each one of these, at least I think each one of them, of the powers have a specific bonus weapon that you can't get any other way other than working with them to unlock them. Um, there's a few different ones. I, I really didn't use this one all that much because once you have a large ship, uh, a lot of, or you're fighting large ships, this one doesn't work quite as well. But we'll do uh, a whole section on actual weapons and what are the good ones, what are bad ones, and whatnot. But for today, uh, the one I'm actually going to work with, let me go back, is Ailing Duval. She's in the Empire. And the reason is this right here, Prismatic Shield Generators. Basically what these do is they take you up a, a class. So basically if I have a class 4 shield, and that's the biggest I can get, if I get a class 4 Prismatic, even though it takes longer to recharge, it's like having a class 5 shield, 5A shield. So this is one of the ones you want to get. Uh, although you, typically you want to have several hundred million in the bank in order to buy one of each because after you uh, dip below the 750 merits per week, you lose access to purchasing these, although you get to keep any that you've already purchased. So that's another whole story. So the way this works, if we go and look actually at the view power on the map, and I zoom out, you see all these different colors. Those are the different factions. And I'm in this light blue kind of area with Ailing Duval. Um, I'm not sure if you have to go specifically to their capital, but it, usually that's the easiest way to go. But each one of these colors represents a different faction. And what you can do, if I go back, is once we pledge to her, Ailing Duval, I pledge allegiance. Confirm. All right, so now I am a uh, member of this faction. The problem is going to be is that uh, if you go into other factions' territories, they can send enforcers to attack you. The problem with those is they can attack you all they want and not get a bounty. But if you attack them back, you get a bounty. So you have to be aware of that when you're flying through other people's space. Uh, but what we can do, there's two different types of things we can do to gain merits, which give us the ratings. We can prepare, uh, which is 
you can take propaganda to uh, new areas, to new systems, and try to get them to switch to her side. Or, or actually, yeah. Expansion is when you're actually trying to do it. And then control is you're trying to keep one of the ones that's one of hers still under their control. Which technically you can have two diff different powers competing for that control. So you can have another player that is trying to take over one of her systems. So we help to uh, fortify those systems. Now on the ratings tab, uh, the way it works is uh, for each week, uh, depending on what l how many merits you collect and um, gather, you will get um, a rating. Uh, the way it works is at the Wednesday the Thursday cutover for the you know week four Elite Dangerous, uh, whatever your highest rank you reach is, that is the rank you get. So you can go literally from rank zero to rank three in one week. Now the thing is, you have to wait till week four in order to get the prismatic shield generators for this uh, specific power. So what I tend to do is I wait until the end, right before the end of week three, into week four, or no, it's the end of week four, about to be week five. So the Wednesday before, the Tuesday before. And I go gather all those 750 merits, and then I purchase all the shields or whatever it is I need once that week rolls over. Because each week you lose half the amount of merits you, you have, so there's really no reason. You're basically just wasting money if you're, if you're not really interested in the power plate and you just want the rewards. Now, if you're really interested in the power plate, you can actually end up getting quite a bit. If you have 10,000 merits, you get 50 million credits per uh, week. Uh, the thing is, you will actually spend quite a few in order to try to maintain that number of merits. Because, like I said, you lose half however many merits you gained. So, anyway, so what we're wanting to do is expand. Oh, oh we don't want to expand. We want to control. That's what we're looking for. So what we're looking for is something fairly close, which this one is very close. Um, so we're going to view on map. I'm going to mark that one as my destination. And you can take the propaganda to any station inside that um, system. Alright, so now we go back to... F actually, no, it's not 4. Okay, so the way to do this expansion is you go into Starport Services, you go to Contacts, and you look at this Power Contact. So we're going to pick them up from Power Contact here in the home system, and then we are going to take it to uh, another system. So that's where this says fast track because I should have had some already. Anyway, okay. So what we're going to do is we're looking to fortify that one. So we hit this. It's going to spend a little bit of credits, but it's going to allow us to buy some. Normally you get like 10 for every 20 minutes, and then as you go up in ranks, you get more in a less amount of times, like. 20 for 15 minutes or something like that. I don't remember the exact numbers. It's in the, the Galactic Powers tab. Um, but I do that and then I have 10. So I can keep doing this until I fill up. Even though I'm spending money, I can fill up my entire cargo bay. This is the quickest way to do it. And for me to reach rank 3, I will have to deliver uh, basically 7.5 times. Um, but anyway, you would just keep doing this over and over again until you fill it up. If you have like a Type 9 or something like that and you can get like 900, you can do it in one go. Is it 900 that they can get? I don't remember the exact number of cargo space, but basically 750 in one shot is all you're looking for. Um, but 30 is enough for now. Actually, I already just purchased that, so we'll just do 40 for now because that's good enough. All right. And back. And exit. All right, so now we go deliver these. Like I said, the bigger the ship, the quicker you can get this done. And if you are trying to do power play, you can try to go to systems that are closer to the edge and actually help expansion, but you don't have to. Um, and you can even help fortify. Like, I just selected the closest one. You can actually sort that list by ones that are, um, are least fortified so that you can make sure that she keeps all her systems. But just for this tutorial demonstration, we're just going to do... Um, the basic closest one. 
right. And now we are going to fly to that system. Thankfully, I can jump fairly far. Well, not fairly far, but decently far. It'd be better a, py a python is a very good option for this. Type 9s, type 7s are okay. Anacondas work. And then the other thing is, since she is Empire, I'm actually going to be building up Empire points as well. So that's a little added benefit to working with her. But they have all kinds of different weapons. They have uh, special shotguns. Uh, they have what's the, called the Packhound Missile, which uh, evades the uh, anti-missile defenses, and it shoots off really fast moving. Like, instead of being, you know, one missile, it will end up shooting like 10 different missiles at once, which is really cool. Alright, now let's get lined up with this. Um, oh, what else is there? Oh, there's advanced plasma accelerators, if that's more up your alley. Um, basically, you get more of them. They don't do quite as much damage as standard ones, but modified they can get up to the same amount, but they fire faster and you get more ammo, so those are really cool. Uh, my friend Sly Fox absolutely loves those. He just built a vulture, which is a small ship with two of them, and he can take down the ships, uh, the shields of a modified anaconda in two to three shots. It's really cool if you're if you really if you're working in a team, having those and then someone that's using multi cannons or um, something similar can really take down even the most heavily modified anacondas and. Corvettes and anything like that fairly quickly uh, within you know 30 to 40 seconds per thing so it's really cool if you l if combat is your thing and it's a whole lot easier with those weapons because you know you buy two or three and you're done the thing is with the prismatic shields like I'm trying to do I really need to get one of each size so I need you know a class one a class two a class three all the way up to class eight that costs a lot of money. So right now I'm probably just going to ally with her long enough in order to just get the general... I, I like using medium ships. Um, I don't really use large ships because they aren't as maneuverable. Um, but I will end up getting most likely whatever fits the Python and the Mamba. Those are my two favorite ships along with the Alliance Chieftain. Um, if you watch me play... Uh, I'm starting to do streaming on Twitch and then uh, we'll upload those to YouTube as well. But if you see me there, I will be using my Alliance Chieftain because I absolutely love the thing. Um, it's a little bit more difficult to get than some of the other ships just because you do have to have a certain Alliance rank, I believe. But I would worked it up before they did the swap over to where you actually had to do missions and things, I think. Because um, I would worked with the system I was normally in was an Alliance one. So I already had built it up quite high, so I was able to purchase it as soon as they released those ships. Alright, so we're going to dock, and then I'll show you how to trade these in, and that will be the end of the video, actually. But yeah, just look around, check them out. Um, I'll see if I can do some videos on the different weapons. I don't have them all unlocked with my other... Um, my main account, I am working towards that so that we can have the ability to test with everything. Um, I'm hoping that I can actually uh, get, you know, at least one, if not three of each size of each type as well. That way we can do some serious testing. But I do have the prismatic shields over there, so that's really cool to show. Alright, so we are coming in for a landing right about now. Okay, so we're going to go to Starport Services, and just like the other one, we're going to go to Contacts, Power Contact, which you will see at pretty much every station now that you have a power selected, and then we can turn in... Uh, we can deliver material, so we will deliver all 40 at once, which is a whole lot easier. And confirm. We get one merit per propaganda delivered. And we, oh, we actually get credits now. Or I guess it was just so small I really never noticed. 
Um, but see, look, yeah, this one has been fortified way too high just because that's where everyone does just to get their merits for the week. And that is it. And then we can actually pick up more if we want to prepare a system and jump somewhere else. But that is pretty much it as far as the powers go. Um, if you have any questions about it, please leave those down in the comments. Uh, I'm not an expert on powers. I know just enough in order to get the you know extra weapons and to do some of the basic things. I don't really play around with the expansion all that much. Um, but if that's something y'all want to see, just let me know and we'll work on that. Uh, but once again, this is Samaritan Gaming. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the little notification icon next to uh, the little bell icon. So you can see all my videos. We're doing three versions of Minecraft, uh, two multiplayer and one single player, uh, Elite Dangerous, of course, and Medieval Dynasty. So if you like survival games, um, that's the one for you. Uh, it's similar to Ark or something like that. If there's any other games you want to see, just let me know. I do have quite the library of games, and I can even, you know, if something goes on sale, I can pick that up and uh, demonstrate that one or, you know, do a series on it if you would like. Um, and I'm actually looking for suggestions for action games, uh, which include, you know, racing sports, um, first-person shooters, whatever, for the streaming series that I want to start. Um, I'm thinking about doing, you know, some combat from here, maybe some racing out of, uh, what is it called, Assetto Corso? Corsa? Whatever. It's a racing game. It's one of the top rated games on Steam for uh, realistic racing, especially if you have a wheel. Uh, my buddy Sly Fox got one of the racing wheels, which is really cool, and I really want to go over to his house and try it. But, of course, you know, due to COVID, we cannot. Um, but then, you know, any other things, like uh, I think I just I just picked up, what is it, Tom Clancy, uh, whatever the sequel was for the open world game that I cannot remember for the life of me. But anyway, any sort of game you think would be a great uh, thing you would want to watch streamed, uh, just let me know, and I will take a look. Uh, Fallout 4 is also a good option. I've always loved Fallout 4 and Skyrim, but those have kind of been overdone. But if y'all want to see me play those, or see specific builds or something like that, just let me know, and I will get those started. Anyway, this is Meridian Gaming, and I'll see you in space.